Good morning, everybody. So, it's package day, and I've got two really cool deliveries. This one, well, should be kind of obvious. There was no box with this one. So we're gonna take a look at this one first. So, all of this is equipment for the videos. Why? I hope nothing went wrong with that. I have to unbox it upside down because my address is on the front. Okay, so the first thing we have is this XLR cable. That's gonna be useful. Then I also bought this scissor stand. I was gonna get just a standard boom arm, but then I realized this was fine. I mean, I rarely move out of this recording space anyway, and anywhere I do end up recording, I always have a space where I can put this. So let's take a look at what this thing is like. Hopefully it fits this desk. Oh, for the record. This is why I do reviews and not unboxings. So that has got an adjustment because I think the mic is pretty heavy. Clip here. I've only ever had one of these before and it was pretty good. I remember it did end up breaking though. So hopefully I'll have better luck with this one. Well, that was easy. So we're gonna stick this on the side of this desk here and hopefully, yep, I can screw it on. Nice. We're gonna properly park a Welbeck this up in a minute. Just a standard Ugreen XLR and now, the most important part. As usual, screwdriver. Oh, it's got one of these. Where did I put the screwdriver? Okay, I found a coin. Let's see if we can get this attached. Oh, that is heavy. Packet of silica gel, of course. Hopefully this can hold it. All right, so I guess it does hold it. That's good to know. Nice. All right, let's get this thing plugged in. Okay, so now I've got the microphone set up. We can move on to the actual subject of today's video. So if you watched my last few videos, then you may have seen that I've been using this setup a lot more often. If you've been around for a long time, then you may have seen me use this background before, but a while ago, I just stopped using it. I didn't like the way it looked anymore. I also found it pretty difficult to make videos in this room. So over the past few months, I've been working to change that. I now, for example, have a desk. Audio quality kind of sucked. I bought this mic. The background was boring. I added some lighting. That LED panel would be on over there. Unfortunately, I've run out of batteries though, so I'm gonna have to go get some more. <laughs> I finally got this recording set up to a place where I wanna show it. And so in today's video, I thought we'd just go through it. So to start, we're gonna be talking about this microphone. Not because it's the first consideration I have when making this setup. Only reason we're talking about this first is because it's more interesting. So there are many things you need to consider when choosing a microphone. First, do you want a dynamic or a condenser? Do you want a super detailed sound or a more broad broadcast style frequency? Do you want your pickup pattern to be a cardioid or a cardioid? Seriously, don't get anything else. For this sort of stuff, you should only be using cardioid. I see so many people who pick up one of these blue yetis. Then they set their pickup pattern to like omnidirectional, capturing birds outside their keyboard, and their audio in general just isn't as good. Yeah, very much so, get a cardioid. Now for me, one of my main considerations was versatility. Now, while I could soundproof my recording room, I can't soundproof my entire house. That would be seriously time consuming. Not to mention the fact that <laughs> giant foam panels aren't exactly the best decor. So an important factor for me was to have good noise rejection. Another key consideration is, as I said, the frequency response, or detail versus broadcast. Typically, condenser mics will have a much more detailed frequency response. The Neumann TLM 103, for example, being 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. While this Rode Procaster and many other broadcast mics have a much more limited frequency response. Because I'm recording my voice, I don't need all that much redundant bass. In fact, you should roll off these frequencies below the 70 hertz when dealing with spoken words. I'm not all that well today if my voice sounds kind of off. Just gonna have a quick... Uh, the less detailed sound of a dynamic mic can also mean your voice sounds considerably nicer. There's a reason dynamic mics are used in most radio stations. People's voices aren't perfect, and while those imperfections can be taken out in post, it's just easier if you don't need them to not record them in the first place. Once I'd weighted all this up, I decided I should go with the dynamic mic. But there were three key options. The first was the Electro Voice RE320, the second was the Shure SM7B, and the third was the Rode Procaster, which is this one. My main considerations were loudness and how it sounds with voices similar to mine. And therefore, because of how the Procaster works in those departments, I ended up picking it up. Did I make the right choice? I don't actually know. To hold it, I have this scissor stand as we saw before, have it plugged into my Euphoria UMC22 with an XLR cable, and I'm recording in Logic Pro, which is actually my door of choice. Altogether, other than the issues with plosives, as I already mentioned, this very much takes care of the audio problem. Next up, we have the video equipment. Now, I have talked about this before, but I use a Panasonic GH5, which I love. I almost sold it in November as well. And now I've got 
so used to it. I plan on using it for as long as possible. This thing is awesome. I also use a Godox SL60W for my light, which while more expensive than most of the other budget lighting kits on Amazon, it's about entry level for professional lighting and I seriously don't regret investing in it. My hair is going everywhere today. Sorry about that. Having clean light means you can get better colors, nicer roll-offs, and can pull off more complex and interesting lighting setups. So while it was expensive, I wouldn't recommend anything less. SL60W, I've definitely got my money's worth. After this, we have the background. Now, I've spoken before about the state of my wallpaper. I currently have this horrible wallpaper known as chipboard, along with the orange wall of doom. It just doesn't look good at all. So to combat this, I've set up some lights. These lights include the Pixar light, a salt lamp, an LED panel, and a monitor to give some nice accent lighting and just make my background a little bit nice to look at. Finally, I added the desk, which is now pretty much essential due to my audio setup. Can't really use one of these without a desk. However, I really like making videos at a desk. I can have my laptop out with a load of notes. This is super helpful for remembering stuff. It's also way easier than trying to read it on a phone. It's also really nice to be able to lean on the desk whenever I'm talking. For some reason, this does help my flow a bit. And as we saw in the intro, it's super helpful for unboxings. Also, seeing as it was free because I salvaged it, it couldn't have really been better value. Having a nice space to make videos all in all is super helpful helpful. It just helps me get more videos done to a higher quality much faster. I've really been enjoying this sit down space to make my videos. It just takes out a lot of the difficulties that come along with making videos. And best of all, while it does take up a considerable amount of space while I am using it, it barely takes up any space whatsoever. In fact, it gives me a little more space because I can put gear on the desk when it's not in use. Now, this set isn't quite done. I'm still not too pleased with the background. I would like to add some more color, maybe some artwork. I do want to get some of those Kurtzka's art posters. But as for the actual recording set, I'm pretty pleased with this. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Again, my throat hasn't been too good today. Hopefully, by the next one, it's better. The next video is going to be this iPhone 8 review. This is going to be the best phone review I've ever made. As for now, though, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this and smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.